Hey Leo, how are you guys? I hope that you guys are doing well. Just know that I send you all much love and light. I truly do. Please stay safe and be careful, you guys. I'm so happy that you're here with me. Thank you for clicking on my video. If this is your first time here, my name is Lynn and this is Passionate Heart Tarot. Welcome to your love reading for July. All right, Leo, so let's take a look and see what is coming in for Leo. Let's see what messages we get from Spirit. But before I do, I just want to take a moment to invite the white light, the Holy Spirit, into your reading. What is coming in? How is your love life looking in July? Let's see. Well, there's someone who wants that you're going to get back together with, Leo. So for those of you that have been wondering if you're ever going to get back together with this person, I see, I see it happening. I also see the way that they can't stop thinking about you. And I think that's a mutual feeling where you can't stop thinking about them either. I have to let you know, like the overall energy coming in for Leo is, it's very abundant. Um, some of you might even find that you're in a much better place financially than you've been lately because it's feeling like you have everything that you need and you're not lacking anything. But it's a lot more than that. However this speaks to you, it's feeling like you even have extra. So there's just like a lot of energy around you of feeling very fulfilled um, within your homes, within your hearts. For some of you, um, you get back together with this person and you might even move in together like faster than you thought it was going to happen. Especially for those of you who are in a kind of breakup where maybe you fought and they left or something like that. Just know that you, you are coming back together. You absolutely are. And for others of you, you might have been separated from this person for a while. And I can see that when you come back together, it's like everything falls into place and, and you just feel like you don't skip a beat. You haven't skipped a beat. I see the energy of things getting on the right track because you may not realize like, when you get this other chance with them or they with you, however this goes, however you guys get back together, it plants a seed. It plants a seed um, for the future because I can see where getting back together with this person, you guys are going to stay together for a while because there's just so much energy here of creating like a beautiful, happy home together. This is like coming together putting down roots moving in together and like there's a possibility to reach a lot of milestones here in this connection i don't think the two of you coming back together is going to be like such a smooth process though because i can see where there's like these emotions that someone is dealing with uh, feeling like the bond was broken, you know? I wonder if they feel like lies were told to them or like... It's not It's not so much a lie, um, like a specific thing. It's more about like feeling like things were supposed to be a different way and they didn't turn out that way. That's why like there's this feeling of having been lied to. Do you know what I mean, Leo? Because I just see where someone feels like there was a lot of broken promises. And I see the energy of like the pursuing that's coming in, but then also the way that it gets turned down. So I wonder if when this person 
person is like making an approach towards you, I can see where you feel like you have to think about it a lot. They're thinking about you 24 seven. You're thinking about them 24 seven. It's like you're looking at the offer. I can see where you're very hesitant. Some of you might even like just flat out turn it down at first, but that doesn't stop them from pursuing. Because what happens is you might turn them down and then they stop and think about their approach. They're thinking about what they could do differently. And then you start to think about, well, all the times that we had together and what it means to you. I mean, this is, this is something, there's a lot of energy. There's a lot of emotion that's here because these cups represent emotion. You see this person, like their head is in the clouds. They're thinking about every last possibility. They're thinking about the good, the bad, and everything in between. So I do see where it ignites a lot of passion because someone really just wants the other person to see things from their perspective and see where they were wrong and the other one was right. So I see where... There is a lot of fiery energy. You might even, you know, have an argument with them. So it's just like, it just stems from all of these emotions. The positive side to it, though, is I, I see you reuniting. I see you coming back together. And I see that when you do, uh, this path opens up like a doorway opens up for the two of you to down the line create something very beautiful together that's why there's this energy of like a parent of a spouse that's here because it's it's like potential for those of you that aren't in that position yet it's the potential of having it lead there so I see a lot of abundance around you I see a lot of fertility and a lot of health around you coming in leo and just um going through emotions going through a lot feeling a lot this month so i mean you're gonna you it's things that you can no longer keep in it's things that you have to talk about with this person that you have to get out because i know that there's things that you want to say to them and things that they want to say to you so i see it being a very emotional month where things are being put out on the table, so to speak. But when they are, the result is going to be, you know what? Let's see where this can go. Let's come back together. I know that there's been a lot of thinking on both sides. It's not just about your person thinking or you thinking. The both of you have had a lot of growth. And I see where you both feel like you've made mistakes that you want to make right. And I can see where the both of you, to an extent, feel like there's some ways that you took the other one for granted. Maybe your person feels that more than you do. But with all of this deep thought that you're in, Leo, you may start to see where you could have made improvements as well. So it's beautiful because there's just so much... Um, feeling so much emotion so be prepared for an emotional month ahead but it's not bad emotion it's like the process of finding closure letting things out putting things on the table and and really figuring out where the two of you stand with one another so for some of you um there's just so much energy here of like when you come back together, it gets serious really quickly, like moving in together or even like being engaged for some of you. For some of you, this person just might come back with an engagement ring because it's like setting up so fast, setting, setting things up. I mean, like as in your life. So even if, you know, for... For the month ahead, even if everything doesn't like happen all at once, for some of you, it's gonna because the energy is just like coming in quickly. For others of you, it's important to know that it's like something that's in the works and that will unfold in the months ahead. So it is like a turning point that's here. I want to look at this five of cups. Let's see. So I can see Sagittarius energy coming through. So you guys might 
be dealing with the Sagittarius or have that in your chart. It's funny because it's kind of like the two of you are in this energy of, of trying to figure out where you stand with each other. Don't push each other away though, that could because that's what I can see. What's going to what's going to have to happen and what I see happening is someone is is going to take charge because I see the energy of reuniting but it's when someone just feels like they have this drive within them that they have this motivation within them to just take things in their hands and go and get their person back. I mean because that's what it is. There's a uh, you have to know, like with this kind of energy, it's like a tendency to overthink. I, I can see where some of you might be reading into things too much or that's what your person is doing or in fact, what the both of you are doing. And I know that you might watch this Leo and think like, well, I'm not going to be the one who reaches out. They need to reach out to me. I know I, I get that and I see that. But what I also see is someone taking charge, whether that's you or them. I see someone taking charge and being very motivated about getting their person back, getting their person, because that's how they feel about you and that's how you feel about them. Like, it's the right one. It's the one that you just can envision having a life with. And when you do get back together, things are going down that road. So I guess what Spirit is showing us is some of the blockages and difficulties that you might face um, in the connection this month and trying to figure things out. Because what I can see very clearly is like it's not just like um, a smooth reconnection. There, I see arguments, but they're necessary ones um, because there's so much that needs to be said. Things need to be seen from this person's perspective, from the other person's perspective. So that's that's what I can see with the overthinking. The two of you might, because it's, it's confusing. Like, where do you stand with each other? Well, I'm here to let you know that you're going to get back together. And they just envision a life with you the same way that you feel about them and the confusion that you feel. I know that this might be might not be what you want to hear but that's how they feel as well the the way that you feel like they need to be the one that does the pursuing they feel that way too and now i'm not putting this all on you leo and saying well maybe you should you know be the one that reaches out i wonder who's gonna do it but i see someone doing it i see someone taking charge and getting their connection back because they feel like it belongs to them and when they do there's so much so much happiness and like something that's very serious and very stable that the two of you will create so the overall energy coming in for you guys is that of feeling very content feeling like things are harmonious, feeling like things are on the right track and things are happy. Definitely a lot of energy here of like prosperity. However, that looks to you because that's what's here. Ten of Pentacles is like, you know, whatever you feel is like a comfortable amount of money. That's what I see. For, for you guys coming in. So that's a beautiful thing. So looking at the blockages and difficulties, it's a lot of mirroring that the two of you are doing. So when you find that you don't understand your person and you find that you're wondering how they feel about you, all you have to do is look at yourself and how you feel about them because it's how they feel about you. So I know that the two of you want the same things, but it's just kind of like going around and around until someone finally takes matters into their own hands. So it is a beautiful thing. So you guys do have a lot of positivity that's coming in for the month ahead. I do want to look at this. I want to look at this empress here. For some of you, it might even be a surprise finding out that um, there's the energy of pregnancy, the energy of fertility. So that's important for you to know that that is here. 
you might want to clear the air with your person because I can see where there's a worry that someone has about why things are not moving forward, right? And they're starting to think if there's another person in the picture. If you know for a fact that you're not interested in anyone else, Leo, you might want to do something to just make this person clear. Because it's like this, this is someone who's really fired up and ready to go, you know, ready to move forward with you. I think that they need like a certain kind of motivation. And especially if they have this thought on their mind that there could be someone else in the picture, they're going to continue to hold back. If they know that you're open and you want to see where things could go, they very well might be the one who is in this energy of taking things into their own hands. Or it could be questions that you have on your mind about your person, wondering if there's anyone else that they could be interested in. So that's just important for you to know. Um, but what I can see is that the answer to that is no. There's no one who is before you. There's no one who's above you. You know, the empress, there's no one in, in the in the deck who's over the energy of an emperor or an empress. They're like the highest level of respect, of feelings, of the way that they view you and the connection to you. So there is no one else that can compare to you. That's what I want you to know. So I, cause there's a lot of thinking, thinking and overthinking that's here. So I know that that is what's on someone's mind, whether it's on your mind or their mind. You might just want to slip that into the conversation so that they know there is no one else. Because I can see where that is creating a blockage with the thought of there being someone else, Leo. So that's just important for you to know. Because it's like um, a domino effect. Once they see like uh, the path can be clear to get back to you. I'm telling you, this is a person who is very motivated to move forward, very motivated to take charge and take back what they feel belongs to them. All right. So that's important because that could be what's coming between you and your person for some of you, you know, being in this phase of separation, the way that I can see. I know that there's a fear that's also here of being vulnerable. So that's also important for you to know. But remember, Leo, if you feel this way, your person feels that way too. So if, if you can look at the connection like that and that your feelings are so similar, you'll stop fighting each other and like it'll help you come together rather than push you further apart because your feelings are their feelings. So having empathy with each other and being vulnerable to one another, although I know it's not easy because I know that um, there's a worry that's here for some of you in letting this person back in. But it is something that is going to have to happen, you know, being vulnerable. So a lot of emotions are coming in for you guys this month. And I do see, like to summarize, I see you getting back with your person. The overall energy is very, very positive, very abundant, very happy and harmonious. There's just like these few bumps along the way. Um that you'll have to overcome in order to come back together. And really, it's just like being honest with each other, being vulnerable, being open, and then just dealing with all of the emotions that that stirs up. But you are going to decide to be back together with this person because um, someone's just going to someone's going to say, you know what, enough is enough. I'm going to get my person and this is they belong with me. I belong with them and that's it. We're going to be together. It's been too long that we've been apart. 
So that's what I can see for you guys. All right, Leo. So that's what I have for you. I love you all so much. I send you much love and light. Thank you for everything. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. I would really appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment and share, you guys. I love you so much, and I will see you in about a week.